Hey family, I am so glad to be getting back to doing videos, whether you're watching me on IGTV, YouTube, or Facebook. So glad to be able to show you guys how to do this quick logo as my first tutorial of 2019. Happy New Year. All right, so this is a great logo to use if you're doing any kind of party favors, if you just want to print and cut for centerpieces, you know, something basically that can be personalized to fit this theme. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. It's already here. I've kind of been working it, so you'll see a layer. But um, all you have to do is either do this on the document in Canvas you're already working on, like if it's a chip bag, a banner, whatever, invitation, or you could just do a file new document, any size you want, because we're just going to size it up from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my text, and I'm going to just write my name. This font is simply rounded font. You can find this on defont.com. It's free for personal use. And I'm actually using Photoshop 2018 right now because I opened the 2018 version, but it should look about the same in 2019. If you're using a previous version than that, um, you may have it a little different on your screen, but I'll go through and just kind of show you how to do it in the current updated cloud versions of Photoshop. So here's my name. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this copy, this layer, excuse me. I just right click the layer, duplicate. Okay, you'll see my text is um, actually in all caps. It defaulted to caps because I have it selected here. If you don't see this window, you can just go to window character to show the tab group. So let me go ahead and delete this out because I was just um, using that earlier. But anyway, so here's our copy. We're going to hide the copy in my layers panel. If you don't have your layers panel, go window layers. All right, so I'm going to select the active layer and I'm going to go 3D, new 3D extrusion from selected layer. Now, keep in mind, this may be different from you if you have a previous version of Photoshop, and this also may not be available to you to select if you do not have enough memory on your computer. Photoshop will not allow you to select it. So I'm going to go 3D, and you're going to see this come up the 3D panel. If it doesn't come up, do Window 3D to get the tab group. So I like to click here just to see all the layers, and I'm going to do extrusion material, and I'm going to double click. And what's going to happen, the properties panel comes up. I'm going to click here, and this is going to change. So I want to go to my deform option under properties. The shape preset is just going to be the first one that I select. Now you may need to do different values depending on how big your font is. But you can always just use the slider here to play with it, or you can use this, um, the deform tool. If you have your move tool selected, when you come over into your canvas, you'll notice that the move tool is a little different. It's the deform move tool. So um, we came here, and obviously it went to do that because I was playing with it. But I'm just going to go ahead and put some values in that I know will work. And these may work for you. Try them and then play with it. I'll show you. So I'm going to do shear negative 51, and I'm going to do negative 75. All right, great. So that looks good. So that's exactly how I want it, guys. Um, you're going to wonder, like, well, how do you fix this? I'll show you. So now that I'm done pretty much with my, um, my default image of the 3D, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do a color overlay. And I'm going to get that kind of close as that hot pink as I can. It's already selected. I'm just using the Pantone colors. You can do a picker and choose it, or you could do your color libraries. So you see that change, right? But I'm going to add that stroke of black on here. And stroke, I did at 16 of black. So basically what I did was I selected my layer, effects, blending options, and I put some options on here to make it look a little neater. Now, I'm going to unhide that top layer. Uh-oh, the color is not right. Why? Because, I mean, these colors may be what you want to use depending on how, you know, you are doing your chip bag or your party favor or whatever. So I, however, want this to be, you know, I could do light pink, I could do black, whatever, because it's text. But what I want is for this to have a black and white polka dot pattern. So if you go to my website, you'll be able to download this free and easy black and white um, digital paper for free and I'll link it in the comments you can do um, edit when you open it in Photoshop this is what I like to do edit 
define pattern, save it however you like, hit OK. I don't like to do clipping mask. I prefer to use patterns. So then I come back to this um, tab that's open with my project, and I'm going to do FX Pattern Overlay. And here are some patterns that I previously saved. This is the pattern that I just saved now. It's at a scale of 729. We don't want that. So let's bring that down. And let's just scale it down to how I like it to look. Hit OK. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more uh -oh, so you guys can see. Let me make sure I get my zoom. All right, so you can see that a little better. And you can make this as big as you need to on your screen, y'all. I'm just going to move it around a bit, and there it is. Um, you can come in, you know, you can come back down to this, and you can make it more narrow, you can make it wider, and you can move it around with the Move tool. So I'm kind of feeling, you know, I like it. It, it is what it is. Um, if you want to, you can even make the text of your first layer, like, come up higher. You know, just play with it and make it your own. And then if you want to, you know, we could type a surprise or a birthday. Let's do a new layer of birthday. Let's go ahead and grab our text tool. First, birthday. And I'm going to make this smaller since I'm zoomed in so much. Let's make that about 25 for right now. And, you know, you can just play with it. Do as you please. Uh, one of the things with the LOL, there's periods at after each letter. But, you know, guys, just do it as you like. And um, this is exactly pretty much how to make it. And you can change the colors. You can do anything you like to make it unique and make it your own. And from here, what I would do is I would either save it as a PSD um, I don't like how close these letters are, so let me go ahead and adjust them out. And remember, this is your character panel. And, um, you know, just play with it. But what I'm going to do is I would save this uh, as a PSD so I can um, just have it as a raw file and I could see what I did so if I need to duplicate this. Or what I would do is, excuse me, and in addition to that, I would save it as a PNG. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's do a stroke. See, like, that looks good. You know, guys, just kind of play with it and make it your own how you like it to be. So I'm also going to do File, Save As. And then I would just do it as a PNG and save it wherever you like on your computer. And that would be that. So we'll say LOL theme, PNG, um, Alicia. And I could use this in Cricut. I could use this in my silhouette. I can use this to print straight from Photoshop. I could take that PNG, put it right on an um, chip bag, you know, and it's basically just like clip art. So I hope you all can use this. Again, you'll find the link to that black and white paper on my website. And I will share with you all. And thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year.